Hello everybody, welcome to my weird wonderful world and since we're October I am going to get a head start on some Halloween content. Now I have compiled 20 songs, well 21 in all, but 20 songs, the uh, 21 is going to be just an honorable mention basically, that that not represents Halloween, it's not necessarily Halloween themed, but they are great songs to listen to for Halloween. Well, at least I think they are. And I showed you a couple of examples in the uh, in the thumbnail, okay, to let you know that those those three TDs will have a song on it. But I have like twenty in all, and there are a couple a couple of artists which are going to be named twice because they have a couple of songs, two like two songs from the same artist. But I, I, I group those together. So when one artist, yeah, they're, you'll see it as I go along. Now, I think I'm just going to jump into it and explain as I go along. Now, there's some songs that I could have chosen, but I don't have them. Like, uh, I don't have Sympathy for the Devil from, uh, from the Rolling Stones. That would have been a great contender. I don't have, uh, I don't have a, like, I put a spell on you. That would have been a great contender in that. But what I do have is pretty good. Now, just one honorable ben mention, okay? And it's a great song for Halloween. And I never would have considered this as a, you know. But as I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute. Doesn't doesn't she have a song that's kind of, now, that would be, not is again, not necessarily Halloween themed. But they're good for Halloween. And the first one I could think of was, uh, like, weirdly enough, was from this, from uh, Suzanne Vega. And it's the second last song called Tombstone. Tombstone. And if you listen to it, it's very, it has a Halloween-y feel. It has a creeping, a little bit of a, a little bit of a creepiness in the music. And it's really, I think it's a decent song that you could play for Halloween, you know. Tombstone from Suzanne Vega, out of all things, right? Okay, so we're going to go with number 20. This is at the last place. We're going to go to from 20 to number 1. They, they are very loosely ranked. The higher up the list, the more I think that they belong on the list. And, and of course, number 1 and number 2 for me are the quintessential Halloween songs that I have that... that I think a lot of people might agree with. Well, we'll see. So, of course, um, at number 20, I had to pick Enter Sandman from the Black Album. Because, face it, you know, it is pretty, you know, nightmarish and, and kind of, you know, yeah, it's a very, again, this is why it's, this is at number 20. Because I, like I said, I looked, I looked through all my CDs and I tried to pick out all the songs that have that theme. So, enter Sandman. At number 19, and it's funny, nobody would ever consider this to be a Halloween song in some ways. Like, or uh, not a Halloween song, but good for Halloween. It's a uh, Weird Al Yankovic from, the, from his 3D, in 3D album. It's the last song, Nature Trail to Hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I consider that a pretty, I would consider that, uh, you know, a good song for Halloween. All right. At number 18, Witch Hunt from Rush. Witch Hunt. I mean, it's, again, it, it's, a, it's a good song for to put on for Halloween. It, it, I think so, anyway. I'm not going to dwell too much on each of these. I don't have to explain. As I get closer and closer to it, I'll, I'll probably do a little bit more explanations. And then I thought, okay, wouldn't Kiss have something good for Halloween? You know, with the makeup and all that stuff. It, it, they, you think Kiss would be pretty much suited for Halloween with their whole getup and everything. But it's like, what song would I consider decent for the for Halloween? And so I looked and, and then say, okay, how about this one? And I even got out the lyrics to, to, you know, just to look at it. So we're, I'm talking about Creatures of the Night, Kiss. 
okay, and particularly particular the the title track of Creatures of the Night, and it's from that it's from the line, you know, searching in the darkness, running from the day, hiding from tomorrow, nothing left to say, gathered up your courage, ready for the fight, howling at the shadows, till we start to bite. We are the creatures of the night. Yeah, I mean, okay. I think I consider that a pretty decent song for for Halloween. Again, that's lower on the list because it's not as as much as the rest would be. Okay. At number at number 16. I I chose the from from Primus and I and I have the this is all I have from Primus it's just the singles it's all, it's all their their greatest hits it's the second to last song called Coat Tales of a Dead Man yeah yeah Coat Tales of a Dead Man great song for Halloween you know so I like that one and some of these I know most people would not have considered some of those those songs as we get closer and closer to number one, you'll those songs are more recognized as being, you know, good for Halloween. Again, not necessarily Halloween themed. At number fifteen, I'm going to go with um, this is a, of course another greatest hits of Golden Earring, and it's the last song on this is uh, Twilight Zone, Twilight Zone, and I could. Although Rush also has a song called Twilight Zone, they're talking about the show, and it wouldn't necessarily be as, you know, as you know, much of a Halloween song as this one is, because this one's talking about not the TV show, but a Twilight Zone, an actual twi Twilight Zone. So that's why this is a great contender. All right, at number fourteen, we have a. And this whole album technically could be considered a great Halloween album because it's Hollywood vampires. And there's a bad, there's an old book. It looks Halloween. It looks Halloween. Just the cover alone looks Halloween. Probably the most Halloweenish cover I have. So, and I'm talking about, again, the last song, My Dead Drunk Friends. I think I think is I think it's a good song for a Halloween song. You let me know of what you think of it. So then at, at number thirteen from Joe Satriani in his Flying in the Blue Dream, he has Big Bad Moon, which is track number seven. Oh wait, no, not seven, eight. Track number eight, Big Bad Moon. Great song, great Halloween, you know, it's, you know, a great song for Halloween. At number, at number 12, yes, number 12, from the Black Keys, from the album Brothers, I'm going to, I'm going to say Howling for You. Howling for You is a decent song, again, it is a great song. That that could be that could be representative of a uh, of Halloween, and again, not necessarily Halloween themed, but they're great for Halloween. Now, you're gonna be surprised by by the next one, okay? The original version is from is from the Who, but I have a cover song in the most unlikeliest places you would consider a a Halloween themed song. Yes, I'm showing a Sparks album, a Sparks album, because the very last song on 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 uh, on the last disc here, Boris the Spider, Boris the Spider, from the Who. It's the Who song, and it's a great song for Halloween. Come on, it, it's beautiful, and I I just love that I've been able to show Sparks. That's cool. That is cool. That that happened to have a a good song for Halloween on it. I was I was kind of floored by that. Now a lot of people would probably put this next one at number ten. We're in the top ten now, okay? So at number ten, and yeah, like I said, most people would have put this a lot higher, but for me, it's kind of a little bit lower in the list. It's the 
Purple People Eater by uh, by Sheb Woolley. I have this cool like great uh, signature here series. It's on the disc. It's on disc. Uh, yeah, it's the second last song on 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 disc two on um, on disc one. The Purple People Eater. And that's a great Halloween song. It's fun for the whole family. Great song for the whole family. Even little small children can can dig that song. Now, oh, just a brief second there. Boris the Spider, okay, on this. I'm sure that Boris, that the Boris they might be referring to and why they why the who chose that name might be because of the who is number two on the list. That's just a little hint in case you might you might know who I'm talking about if you're if you understand where I'm where I'm coming from. So at number nine, we're gonna go with uh, Alice Cooper. Welcome to my nightmare, which is great, which is great. I mean, it's a perfect song for Halloween, and yeah, that's why it's in the top ten for sure. And of course, because I because he's in the because yeah, he's there. And I'm keeping the I'm keeping the same guy together. So I'm going to also vote uh, "Feed My Frankenstein" as number eight. So "Feed My Frankenstein" is uh, where is that? There is no song number five. "Feed My Frankenstein," great, great song that represents uh, that is perfect for for Halloween. At number seven, and again, some people might have put this a little bit higher on the list. I would have to say Number of the Beast, the title tracks. A lot of the next ones here, some of the next ones are sort of title tracks in a way. So, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Not all of them. So, but Number of the Beast, Iron Maiden, that is at number seven. Number seven. Now, slightly more of a Halloween song, I think, would be, would be Ozzy Osbourne's Bark at the Moon at number six. Come on, bark at the moon. Even even that cover. Look how Halloween that looks, with the with the red with the red barbs all around the 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 names and everything. You know, it's so Halloweenish. So that is why this is at number six. All right, the next two again are from the same artist, and they're both on the same disc, right next to each other. Now I could have. There's a third one here I probably could have checked off too. Uh, where is that one? Um, yeah, there's an, uh, probably another one in here. Like, yeah. Actually, all three of those could have been there, but I only chose two. So we're talking about the Rob Zombie. Well, it's mostly, it was White Zombie when he did those songs. And of course, I'm talking about Dragula, Living and End, Living Dead Girl. So. Dragula was at number five, and Living Dead Girl was would be at number four because I consider those um maybe maybe Super Beast might might have been a contender, but I didn't choose that one. But I did want to put Dragula and Living Dead Girl as number five and number four, respectively. At number at number three. Definitely because it has the, the the word Halloween in the title. And this is at number three because the number two are staples. Staples of Halloween songs. Okay. But at number three from the from Ministry, Co-Conspirators and Undercover. Co-Conspirators, uh, yeah. Co-Conspirators, Undercover. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, every day is Halloween. Every day is Halloween. <laughs> Great song for Halloween because it's right there in the title. At number, at number two, okay, it's on this, this, uh, 40 chart busters, okay, it's, it's, it's on side two, it's, uh, song number 16 is The Monster Mash. By Bobby Boris the Spider, probably <laughs> pick it. So Boris the uh, Boris, um, yeah. Uh, where is that again? Bobby Boris Pickett. So Boris, they might have chosen the name Boris the Spider because of of uh, because of Bo because of uh, Bobby Pickett. You know, Monster Mash, Monster Mash. 
Now, I really love the uh, Misfits version of Monster Mash. And, you know, go check out the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys did a cover song of the Monster Mash. So, uh, so yeah, check those out for sure. But I have the original on here, so that counts. And come on, you know what number one is going to be, right? You do. Thriller! Thriller night! Yeah, that, that, I mean, come on. They play this, like, on much music, uh, is, every year after this came out, they played it. They played it for Halloween. It, it was a staple, a staple of Halloween on much music. So it has to be number one because what better song represents Halloween than Thriller? It's perfect. It's perfect. So those are my 20, 20 songs that I consider great for Halloween. Again, not necessarily Halloween themed, but they're perfect for Halloween. And it sets off a, yeah, it sets off the, the rest of the month. So to get you guys in the mood, that's why I'm doing this video a little early. I had the idea last night. It's like, okay, it's Halloween. What should I do? What songs do I have that represents Halloween? And that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys get into the Halloween spirit. I will try to do some more Halloween themed uh, videos uh, coming up to Halloween. And hopefully when Halloween hits, we're going to be celebrating that, you know, as, as much as we can. All right, then I am done. That was my video for today. Um, I might try to make another video later. I don't know what about yet, but we'll see. Uh, if I can come up, if I come up with something, uh, I'm going to, I'll make a video. I will have videos coming up in the future. Like, like, yeah, but I don't, I don't really have anything planned exactly. So it's not like Spark September when I had, when I had, you know, a clear goal the whole month. And I really enjoyed doing those. That was really fun. I, it was I was able to keep it structured. I was able to keep it on topic as much as possible. I had I shared some good I shared a great interview with Monty Mullen and and everybody. And yeah, and I hope that everybody ha will celebrate Halloween in their own way and and all that. And okay, I'm done. I love you guys out there. You know that. And if you subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it and will love you forever and as always, please be safe, take care, I will see you on the flip side, and please, everybody, have a great day, evening, morning, night, afternoon, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.